Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I am in the garage with the 2022 Triumph Tiger Sport 660. I'll be doing an install today. I picked up the official Triumph USB charger kit and I'll put a link in the description for the part. I don't have a specific use case for this part, but I was placing an order for some other parts and I needed to put enough items in my cart to get free shipping. So I threw this in here to get over the dollar amount. So I didn't know if I was going to do an install or not, but I figured I had the part, I might as well use it. Someday it might come in handy. Probably the best use case for me would be if I was out on the road and I needed to charge my phone or a GoPro in an emergency. I guess I'd rather have it than not have it. This install should be pretty easy, so let's get started. The first step for this install will be to remove the seat. The next step is to disconnect the battery. And just looking here at the battery strap, you can see there is an opening to slide the USB charger through. Next, we have to remove the side panel on the right side of the bike. So this whole panel here needs to come off so we can access the wiring channel where the USB wiring harness is located. You wanna be careful when pushing these in. You don't wanna push them in too far, just, just far enough for it to disconnect. Now that this side is disconnected, you wanna grab this side and this side at the same time and pull straight out. And I'll show you what the connector looks like behind here. Here's a look at the connectors. This front one is a little friction mount. It goes into a rubber grommet. Then we have a couple of spring clip connections here, and then another friction mounted to a grommet down there at the bottom. And then of course the original pop root that we took off. Now that the side panel is removed, we do have access to the wiring harness. Here's the main wiring harness. According to the directions, the USB module is supposed to be taped to it with blue electrical tape, but I do not see any of that. I see some black electrical tape, so I think maybe the instructions have changed since uh, originally printed. Right in front of the battery is the air box, and just to the right of there, I do see a little wiring harness down there, so I'm going to try to fish that out. Okay, I was able to stick a blade down there and kind of split the electrical tape to get to this harness right here. So I'm hoping this is the right one. There's a little blank on the end that needs to be removed. To remove this blank, you're gonna need to push down this little lock connector in the middle and then pop this part out. I'm gonna put this into the strap with the words facing upright. So now when I need to use this, I just pop the door open to the right. So this cable will get fished underneath the airbox bracket. So there isn't a lot of slack on this cable, so it should be fine just tucking it back down here. But you could put some more electrical tape on it if you want. Now I'll plug my battery back in and test it out. All right, battery is plugged in. I do have power, so everything's good. I am going to go into my menus now and make sure that 
my shift assist is turned on. Um, if you have any additional modules like the Bluetooth module or the shift assist, usually when you disconnect the battery, it will disable those functions. So you may have to turn your stuff back on if you disconnect your battery. So my shift assist was turned off when I disconnected the battery, so just FYI. So now I'm gonna plug something in here and test it out. I have a device plugged in. It's a USB-A to USB-C cable, so I wanna see if my DJI mic starts charging when I turn the key on. Looks good. So the whole idea behind this is that it kills power to your USB device that you're charging when the bike turns off so it doesn't drain your battery. This pin has to be reset before you put it back in so just pop it back out. Well guys, that's about it for today. I hope you found that video useful if you wanted to install the Triumph USB charger. If you liked the video, click that like button and I will catch you guys on the next one.